Hi, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal, and today, the 30th of April, is the 75th anniversary of one of the most famous combat commanders uh, being killed in action in Italy three days before the ceasefire, Colonel William Orlando Darby, a native of Fort Smith, Arkansas. We are fortunate enough to have some artifacts attributed to Colonel Darby here in the building, and so we'd like to talk about uh, these today on this anniversary. To my right is a photo taken of Colonel Darby on leave at Fort Smith, Arkansas, the, the first time he came back from Italy. And uh, you'll see he's wearing uh, two Distinguished Service Crosses, the Silver Star and uh, Purple Heart, among other decorations. This uh, photo was inscribed by Doris Darby Watkins, um, the only surviving sibling of Colonel Darby's in uh, response to the fact that um, we had named our daughter after her brother in honor of him. And so this hung in her nursery. The second artifact I'd like to draw your attention to is this Atlas of Scotland. So when Captain William O. Darby was tasked uh, with standing up the 1st Ranger Battalion in uh, Northern Ireland and then moving on to training in Scotland, he wanted to know what those training areas were like. And so he purchased this book on the economy and stamped his name three times, uh, his signature block, and then the seal of the 1st Ranger Battalion. This was actually given to us by his sister, so we know uh, of its authenticity. What's interesting about the signature is that, or the signature block, is that it has his rank designated as a major. Well, William O. Darby was only a major for 10 weeks, so Captain Darby uh, gets the mission to stand up the unit, and then by the time the unit Two and, a half week, uh, two and a half months later uh, gets through training, he becomes a lieutenant colonel. So he is only a major for 10 weeks during his army career. And so this book, not only because it's attributed to Colonel Darby, but it dates to the very inception of the modern rangers and is, is an artifact directly from those nascent uh, early days of the unit. And so, so that's uh, fairly exciting. The third artifact that we have here is the baluster um, it's Italian, baluster um, piece of a staircase, uh, but not just any staircase. So Colonel Darby lost his life in a village of Torbola, Italy, on the north shore of Lake Garda, three days before the ceasefire in Italy. He was uh, hit by a piece of shrapnel from an airburst 88 round, and he immediately lost consciousness. His body was taken up this staircase uh, into the Hotel de Ville, or uh, City Hall of Torbola, where he expired on a piece of furniture in the lobby. So this baluster was actually a witness to the final moments of Colonel Darby's life. And so on the 30th of April, we think of the Darby family and Colonel William O. Darby, one of the most famous field commanders in, in the United States Army, um, who was not a general, uh, later posthumously, the only officer posthumously promoted to Brigadier General during the entire Second World War. We remember him on this day, the 30th of April.